Learn English easily. Adam's New Beginning Adam was a 12-year-old boy who had just moved to a new country with his family. He was excited about the new place, but nervous about his first day in high school. You see, where Adam came from, they spoke a different language, and although he knew a little bit of English, he wasn't fluent. The first week of school was difficult for Adam, while everyone else chatted and laughed. He often sat quietly, not understanding the jokes or stories his classmates shared. During lunch, he would sit alone at a corner table, missing the lively conversations he had with his old friends back home. One day, a girl named Mia noticed Adam sitting alone and decided to join him. Hi, I'm Mia she said with a bright smile. Mind if I sit here? Adam nodded, grateful for the company, but unsure of what to say. He struggled with his words. Me, Ad, he finally said. Mia, with her cheerful spirit, tried to engage Adam in conversation, asking him about his old school and his favorite subjects. Adam managed to reply with short sentences, but it was evident he was struggling. Later that evening, Mia told her mother about Adam. Mom, there's this new boy in school, and I think he's having trouble making friends because he doesn't speak English very well. Mia's mother, Mrs. Turner, was a social worker who had worked with many migrants. In the past, she understood the challenges they faced, especially the children. Why don't you invite him over this weekend? Maybe I can help him, she suggested. That weekend, Adam visited Mia's house. Mrs. Turner welcomed him warmly and patiently listened to his talk. Adam, she began, if you're willing, I can help you improve your English. Adam's eyes lit up. Yes, please. For the next few months, Mrs. Turner worked with Adam. She introduced him to English stories, letting him listen to the pronunciation and intonation. She encouraged him to watch English movies which not only helped with his language, but also gave him topics to talk about with his classmates. One of the best methods Mrs. Turner introduced was to make Adam memorize common English phrases. This gave him the confidence to start conversations and express himself. Adam was a quick learner, and with time, his English improved significantly. Mia was a great support as well, often practicing conversations with him and introducing him to her friends. One day, as the school year was coming to an end, Adam stood up in front of the class to give a presentation. He spoke confidently, and while he still had an accent, his English was clear and understandable. The class clapped for him, and he felt a rush of pride. After school, Mia approached him and said, You were amazing today. I knew you could do it. Adam smiled. Thank you, Mia. And thank your mom. For me, too. I couldn't have done it without her help. Mia hugged him and said, you're a part of our family now, Adam. And true to her words, Adam felt right at home. With his improved communication skills, he not only made many friends, but also excelled in his studies. 
All he needed was a little guidance, hard work, and the kindness of people like Mia and Mrs. Turner. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.